The following program was produced by the United States Courts. not just Constitution Day that we celebrate today, it is also Citizenship Day, a day which for decades has been set aside to recognize the value of U.S. citizenship and all the struggles that people just like you have endured to secure that citizenship. For over 200 years, this country has been blessed with a constant infusion of people from all over the world who brought their languages, their heritages, and their cultural values with them. What greater thing can there be than persons coming to our shores and wanting to become citizens and members of our family? We know that this country has been built on the dreams and the accomplishments of an immigrant population. It is imperative that you share those native family values, customs, mores, and languages with your children and their children, and all other Americans, so that those who are not native to your country of origin can learn to appreciate your native culture and your ways of life. For I firmly believe the more we understand and know about one another, the easier it is for all Americans to live together peacefully in a productive society. In America, it doesn't matter what your religion, it doesn't matter what your nationality is, doesn't matter where you come from, doesn't matter what your tribe is, none of that matters. We're all equal before the law. And you too will be asked to give back. Citizenship brings with it not just rights and privileges, but obligations and duties. The right to vote and the right to serve as jurors are rights that you, our newest Americans, must exercise. God bless you and God bless this wonderful country, the United States of America. And it's truly better now because we have you as new Americans. And so I'd ask those who come forward to be citizens today to stand where you are, and I will give you the oath of citizenship. I hereby declare on oath. I hereby declare on oath. That I absolutely and entirely. Absolutely I declare on oath. that I will support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America. Please respond, I do so swear. I do so swear. Oh, I do. Let me be the first to say, congratulations, my fellow Americans. Knowing how immigrants have made this country great, as a son of an immigrant and grandson of an immigrant, I can attest to that. Knowing that, it is especially moving for me to welcome these extraordinary people to our country as citizens. America has given us a chance to have a better life. My grandkids grow up here to have a better education, so I'm really glad I'm here. Well, this is a special day for me, not only because I am uh, the director of the museum, because also I am an Italian immigrant and I was naturalized a citizen in 1970. So every year when we have the ceremony here, uh, a certain part of me uh, remembers uh, what it was like in 1970 to become an American citizen. People from all over the world really has a ch have a chance to be together. Doesn't matter what background, doesn't matter the color, the religion, the culture. The United States presents for us a very different kind of opportunity, very different kind of economic opportunities, the kind of uh, you know, safety and freedom that doesn't exist in the environments where I was born and grew up. I am so happy that I take my oath in, in National Archives, which is a very historic place. This is actually a part of the things that we reviewed before we took the test, so I'm really looking forward to have it here, and I'm so blessed. Today is a very important day for me because my dream came true today. 
I was waiting for this for a long time. Here, in this country, is maybe the only one. Everything is possible. If you want to do it, if you put your mind into it, you can achieve your goal. I work as a nurse, and I just love this land and all the opportunities I have so far. So I want the same for my children. You know, I can do anything here. There is no limit. Whatever I want to achieve, I can achieve, and the same goes for my children and for my grandchildren. I'm very happy because I have the citizenship now. Because uh, I have three kids now. Not only my kids, citizen. I'm I'm citizen too now. I've lived in America for 17 years now. So it's, and it's today I feel like it's uh, uh, my second birth. To be able to contribute to the American society, bring my diversity and my culture, and you know, like what our speaker said, to be a Mosaic country I'm part of. It's what we came here for, uh, to assimilate, to become citizens, to participate. The dream came true. I think around the world when people think of America, they think of those, of those things. They think of uh, the, the, one of the first democracies that really championed these individual freedoms and people have been inspired by America for centuries now.